Hey guys, so today is Monday, March 30th, I believe. Like, honestly, I don't even know the days anymore, but it's fine. I decided to, you know, do my hair, do my makeup, and get dressed up because, like, I haven't fucking done that in forever. So here we are. But what I'm going to do today is I'm going to be organizing my makeup drawer. It's a little bit hectic in there, so, and it literally takes me, like, five minutes sometimes to find things. So I'm really hoping to organize that um, and then show you guys when I'm done. I'm going to show you guys what it looks like before and then I'm going to show you guys what it looks like after. And I'm then going to go over some products um, that I like and that I don't like. And um, yeah, I'm just going to like go through some of the things I have and talk about them. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. It's probably not going to be that long, but I thought I'd just uh, put some content out there and show my face and uh let me know how you guys are doing i know this is a pretty rough time i think we're on like week three or something but keep grinding keep doing your thing if you have bad days that's okay bounce back and uh you know i guess i can go over some things that have helped me as well um so yeah i will show you guys what my drawer looks like though so no joke this is my drawer it is absolutely disgusting and I can't wait to transform it because like this is a shit show. Okay, so I organized my drawer, um, threw some stuff out and then I realized, wow, there's a lot of stuff that I don't use. So I think it actually made me realize like I wanna use more products, so I'm going to do that. Um, but I will show you guys what it looks like. Some people it may still look messy. But basically what I did is I put all my highlighters and my blushes in here. In here I have all of my um, bronzers, concealers, and foundations, and primers. And in here I have all my lipsticks and any like shadows like this one. Um, or any like glitter shadows like this one. Um, and then in here, because I have Ipsy, um, for those of you who don't know what Ipsy is, it's like you get a bag a month and you pay for it and like a bunch of like new like sample goodies come out. So I have all of those like in here. So just like a bunch of moisturizers, primers, um, serums, everything like that. Then I have my two tanning products here that I use. Um, and then I have some eyeshadows. Um, this is an awesome sleeping um, lip mask, which I'll talk about. Um, and then all my eyeshadow palettes. And then just like some of my hair stuff. Um, split end vendor. Um, and then just this is some um, hydrating cream for my hair. So yeah, it's like a lot better than what it looked like before, I okay, think. Okay, so I'm going to go over some product that... I think is really awesome and I'm gonna go over some product that I really just don't like so um, number one on my list that I really obviously I've run out of this um, and it's just the tester thing I actually got it as a sample at Sephora like when you like have your points um, so I actually got like two or three and they were so good that I had to go back and get more but then they obviously ran out it's the cod I don't even know if I'm fucking pronouncing this right but Cauda Lee, I don't know, and it's a serum, and it's literally like the best serum ever. And I would buy the big bottle, but it's just like super expensive, and I can't like really afford that right now. Um, but it's called Vino Perfect, and it's so amazing for um, making sure that you have like um, even skin tone. And here on the back, it says um, um, obviously you want to apply it like every day for like really good results, morning and um, nighttime. But yeah, it's amazing. So I suggest if you have any discoloration, any redness in your skin, any scarring, then you can get this. It's amazing. This next product is a sleeping um, lip mask. It is, I literally got it like two weeks ago and it has done wonders to my lips. Like you probably can't tell obviously, but it is, it's pretty much just like this. I know I've kind of taken some already, obviously. And it is honestly amazing. It is so smooth. It makes your lips feel incredible. And it just leaves it with like a soft finish. 
highly recommend. Another product for my face that I swear by is this Drunk Elephant um, Jelly Cleanser. I got it as the birthday gift um, back in September and I absolutely loved the moisturizer and that's why it's gone and I don't have it anymore, but it's amazing. And the cleanser also A1, A fucking one. I highly suggest that as well. Okay, so for products that I just use like every day for like my everyday makeup, like first of all, these lashes, I don't, for the last, like I'd say ever since we've gone to this quarantine, like I haven't really been wearing my lashes and even before that, I never really wore them. I think I went through a phase where I'm like, oh, I don't need my la my false lashes because like my lashes are actually pretty long, which is true. But today I put them on because I'm like, I want to film and like get some things done. And to be honest with you guys, I need to get ready in order to like feel good and like get things done, as you guys know. So I put them on and I'm like, oh, this is absolutely why I freaking love them. So they are Lily, not Lily lashes. They are Huda Beauty and I can link them below um they're absolutely incredible like amazing and i think they're only like 25 dollars. so which like obviously compared to any other types like lily lashes or like any of those mink lashes like it's not a bad price um as for tanner because you know your girl loves your tanner this is actually amazing i used to use saint tropez it became a little bit too green for my skin tone and it would like kind of come off on my bedding. So I, I purchased the Jergens Natural Glow and it is literally amazing. It dries really quickly and it leaves you with like this nice bronze glow. It does take a little bit longer to process. Like the Saint Tropez is like really quick and like you can notice a difference right away. Um, but this one you have to do like a night before type of thing, but it's also like, it's, it's amazing. And I was noticing um, when I was putting the tanner on my face, it was it was like making everything look bad, like orange and like disgusting. So I purchased uh, the Saint Tropez um, bronzing face lotion and this stuff is incredible. It's nothing like, it's like a moisturizer, but it's like a lotion and it sets on your face. And then in four to six hours, you start to see the color and it's really, really great. Um, and basically it doesn't like block your pores and it's like a very moisturizing feeling. So if you're looking for a face lotion, that's a really good option too. Um, as for like palettes for like eyeshadow, I'm like really into colors. Like I know I'm doing, I did like a bronze look today and like typically for like an everyday look, I will do a bronze look. But this palette by Morphe um and jeffree star is literally amazing i think i've talked about it before but the colors are just fantastic and the pigments are just unbelievable so that's a really and it's like pretty cheap so if you're not if you're looking for like kind of like a cheaper option um this palette is unbelievable it's a two-faced gingerbread extra spicy um really really nice colors as well um and like I said, very pigmented and it smells delicious. Um, and the, I, I like love Huda Beauty. So I like get a lot of things by her. Um, but this palette is also really incredible for like pinks and um, glitter, which I like. Um, and then another palette that's like really good for um, neutral colors is the Urban Decay um, Born to Run. Um, so they have like a little bit more like oranges and um, golds. And obviously if you like just very natural, like with this one, I used um, my Morphe. I don't even know what fucking number this is, to be honest. It's pretty old, but they have a lot of like good nude colors as well. You could definitely see which ones I use a lot. Um, but I really like enjoy all my palettes and I'm not a hoarder when it comes to anything. So if I don't use it for like a month or two months, like I'm throwing it out, like straight up. Even when it comes to my clothes or anything, like I get rid of my clothes so fast. Like the turnover for my clothes and my makeup is is just vast because I just don't like having things and not using them. That's like, it's too much clutter for me. So any product that I have really, I do like, except I'm gonna go through a couple that I just didn't work for my skin or that I don't really like. But I will tell you guys um, after I go over a couple more things that I do really like. Staycation. And I have another one, but it's just like really, really nice. And it sits really well and it's, it's fucking great. 
This is a uh, steel of glitter. I swear by this. I will literally put this on for you just to show you how fucking amazing it is. And this is in the shade Kitten Karma. Fucking amazing. You'll see like right away, like obviously, like it's, it's stunning. It's absolutely stunning. And if you want it to be more pigmented, you guys know, sorry, you have to let it dry or else it'll go like on your upper um, lid and you don't want that. But the yeah. um, pound cake uh, setting powder, amazing, 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 amazing product. Like I'm very oily, like so oily. And I just make sure I cake that stuff on and I leave it on for like probably five to 10 minutes while I'm doing like my eye makeup. And it's really awesome because when you're done, you can just wipe it and it takes off all the excess uh, shadow that you have on at the side. So that's why I love that. It's just, I'm, this is based off my makeup type and my makeup style. So it might not suit everybody and I understand that. Tarte um, uh, highlighter is amazing. Like I'm almost out of it. It's absolutely fantastic. This is an exposed. Um, and yeah. Oh, another thing that I wanted to show you guys um, who from Sephora, it's IGK and it's first class and it's the uh, charcoal detox dry shampoo. Oh my god, it smells fucking amazing. Like, I'm just gonna put this shit on right now because, whoo, it just smells good. But yeah, that's another thing that I really love. And it's okay, like I said, I don't have very many products that I don't like because I typically throw them out if they don't suit me. But I do have a couple here that I will show you that I've tried and I really don't like. The first one is this primer, it is by Dior. I have very oily skin. If you have dry skin, this probably would be very good for you. It does smell really good, but like, I don't know if you could tell, it's very, um, hold on, it's not, it's um, very like m wet and like moisturizing and it just didn't work on my skin tone because it made me like very, very, very oily. Um, I don't know when I put my makeup on, but it was quite some time ago and like I tried a different primer and I swear using this one by this time, my face would already be looking like a fucking oil train wreck like it would be it was bad um so for if you have oily skin i do not recommend this um if you have dry skin hey maybe try it out it might work really well um but it didn't work for me another product that i don't like is this tart um rainforest of the sea like glitter shadow it literally it i don't know if it was just the color the shade but it was, it didn't stick well, it didn't look good, it just, it was a no for me. Like, this is just an absolute fucking eh. But this is the one. I know I like Huda Beauty, but their liquid matte foundations are just, I mean, foundations, Jesus Christ. Fa um, liquid um, lipsticks, they're just a little bit too matte. Like, it's kind of to the point where it dries out your lip and you can't really do anything. Um, I don't know if I could show you guys, but this is the color, um, and I'll give it a couple seconds and then I'll show you guys, like, it's just really, really dry and I don't really like that. For those of you who do like really, really dry matte lipsticks that dry out your lip, you might want to. And lastly, um, this It Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer is also really, really oily and super thick. I thought I would like it because it's full coverage, but it's really sticky and thick and it like leaves like lines under your eyes. Um, so I just really didn't like this product either. Those are some of the products that I like and I don't like. Um, obviously there's probably more products that I really like, but it would take a long time to film this video. Oh, this Olaplex. I know I'm doing stuff that I don't like, but this Olaplex number six, whoo, girl. This will do wonders to your hair, especially if you're blonde and you color your hair and your hair has like dead ends, it will help a lot. Um, but I think that's all I'm going to film for this video. Let me know if you guys want to see anything else. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys are staying safe. I hope you guys are staying inside, social distancing. There's this new term I think that they want to use, which I love because social distancing is not the right term. 
I believe in physical distancing, not social distancing. Keep talking to your friends, keep doing your thing, but physically just try and stay away. The faster we do that, the faster we'll get back to reality. And that's what it comes down to, unfortunately. This has been very difficult for me as I'm a social person and being away from my friends and my loved ones and everybody else that I care about really sucks. Um, but it's teaching me new, th new things about myself that I didn't know before. So learn to become comfortable being by yourself. Learn to be comfortable doing things, uh, new things, and try out, try out new things. But anyways, I hope you guys are staying safe, like I said, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks.